Now see this example here, a ball is thrown vertically up with velocity of 25 meter per second. Calculate the distance travelled by it during the third second, take j is equal to 10 meter per second square. Now see here, for this question again you analyze the motion, suppose this you have taken as a ground level. Now the ball is thrown vertically up and then it comes down. So, path is actually like this. So, first you find out how much time body takes to reach to the maximum height. So, we can write here v is equal to 0 at maximum height final velocity will be 0. So, we can write here simply this time v is equal to u plus a t. So, 0 is equal to and u is given to you 25. So, 25 plus minus 10 into t and you will be getting t is equal to 2.5 seconds. It means body is taking 2.5 seconds to reach this height. Now, what is this maximum height? We can get v square is equal to u square plus 2 a s. So, we will be getting 0 square is equal to 25 square plus 2 into minus 10 into h that h is uh, height. So, we can write here minus 625 is equal to minus 20 into h and this h is equal to 31.25 meter if you calculate here. So, this is the maximum height. Now, you have to calculate distance travelled in the third second. It means distance travelled after the 2 seconds and the 3 seconds in between whatever the distance is travelled. So, suppose the body is reaching after 2 second over here, this we can take as point A. So, how much this height we can calculate? This we can calculate here. See here in 2 seconds body is going to this, this is total 2.5 seconds. So, first we will calculate the distance travelled in the 2 seconds. So, distance travelled in 2 seconds is simply we can write here h is equal to 25 into 2 minus half into 10 2 square. So, that will be here 50 minus and this is here. 5 and that is 20 is equal to 30 meter h dash we can take here this. So, this here height is 30 meter. It means the body is going to here in 0 0.5 seconds and again it will be coming to here in 0 0.5 seconds. We can use this concept because we are ignoring air resistance and acceleration remains same whether it goes up or coming down. So, body goes from in 0 0.5 second to this and coming down to the 0 0.5 second this and this distance we know is that is 1.25. So, this is also will be 1.25. So, we can write a b and c. So, distance moved in third second is equal to here simply a b plus b c. So, a b plus b c. So, 1.25 plus 1.25 that is 2.5 meter. So, distance moved in the third second is equal to 2.5 meter. So, this is the example where you have to get the distance, but here we have taken the different parts here like the analyze the motion carefully and then we have taken part by part and we have calculated.